let's continue with our board drawing. So before that, let's change the uh, the view color to something more like a chessboard. So select that and this icon background color. Let's use what about this one? Okay. Let's use that and uh, run it. iPhone 8, yeah. It's not bad. Okay, so we can change the. Let's use a gray for that. Okay, so black. What about light gray? Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's good. So how can we um, let's how can we draw the first the white for the first row? Okay, so it's easy to use a for loop, right? For loop, I from zero. There are four of them, so dot dot less than four and uh, let's copy this one oh cut put it here so it starts from column zero and uh, yeah every every other one right should be in white so we can use i times two let's give it a try One, two, three, four. Ooh, I think it might be too big for the whole thing, but we'll do that. We'll, we'll fix that later. So let's draw the the gray one, the dark one. So yeah, every other two I times two but we need to add one here right because it starts from column one yeah let's run it mm -hmm. make it a little bit smaller so 41 maybe cell side 31 okay run it yeah um okay maybe 35 <laughs> run it okay good so what about the next row okay so this will be repeated right here right every other row so Let's create another for loop. Oh, wait a minute. I think we'd better use the I for column, right? Column, yeah. So let's uh, con command click this one and rename. So C O L, enter. Yeah. Now let's create another for loop. for row, row in, um, so there are four rows, yeah, zero, dot, dot, four rows for that, yes. So now let's cut this and put it inside that, right? Oh, what, so row, um, yeah, so row, this one, yeah. We'll use row times two, right? Every other row. So let's run it. 
Yes. Let's hide that. Hide that so we can see. Let's delete the empty lines here to keep our code clean and elegant. This one. So now let's do the rest here. Mm. What we can do is we'll draw another. Yeah, let's make a another four. Okay, so. Here we'll, yeah, this is one way to do that, right? And this time we'll push that, push down by one, and this time we need to switch this one. And uh, all right, let's see. Yes. That's it. Um, now we can merge, right? We can merge this cut, put it together. Run it. It works. Now let's uh, automatically center this guy, okay? Okay, it's a good idea, right? So let's calculate this origin x and origin y. So this one should be, this one should be, oh. Let's define the proportion of like uh, our, the size, uh, the ratio of the size of our board to the yellow or orange um, view, okay? So let's define our let um, ratio CG float CG float um, says 0 0.8 okay so we'll use like we'll occupy we can adjust this uh, until we are comfortable with that we are satisfied Let's start from 0 0.8. It means the size of that one is 80% uh, of the, the width, the side length of the uh, yellow view. So now we know that, so we, we can calculate this length, right? Uh, how? Um, So the, well, let's calculate the, the length lat. Mm. So we know the now the cell side should be right. So because we want to change this, so let's change uh, change it from lat. That means constant. Var means uh, variable, and. Uh, uh, let's calculate that. So, cell side should equal to um, bounds dot width. That's the width of this one, right? Mm. This one um, times ratio right so it's the length of this one divided by eight divided by eight that's it so self side now what is the okay now let's run it so let's change this to something weird okay like um did you throw the dot minimum? There's no such thing here. 
Okay, don't worry about that. Put it negative one. An invalid value. Okay, now let's test it. So if we put one here, right? 1.0, then it will be the same size. Run it. Yes, I think so. And let's put it back. Run it. Now let's determine the, to center our board. So let's determine the origin X and origin Y. So to do that, we still need to change this to Y get ready to modify it wow otherwise the compiler will complain um, so what is this one this one is uh, actually is this minus that right divided by 2 or because we know uh, it's 1 minus the ratio right is this part the proportion of that part so divided by two it's also okay same thing so origin x equals um, bound dot width right times one minus um, ratio and uh, divided by two and let's see, run it, it should be centered horizontally. Yeah, horizontal. Mm, we can, yeah, also put a weird number here, invalid number here, minus one. Uh, actually, that is not. Very weird. Okay, let's run that to make sure we Okay, so now X is good, right? Of course, but we haven't, we don't have Y, origin Y yet. Now let's fix it. Same idea. Uh, this one should be height. Height, yeah. Ratio, run it. Now let's test it using a, using a larger simulator. Our favorite iPad Pro 9.7 inch. Run it. Yes. Gorgeous. Okay. That's it for today. See you next time.